Hello everyone, welcome to the last lecture of chapter 10, Force and Friction. In this lecture, we will discuss about fluid friction or drag. Now, first of all, let us understand the word fluid. Fluid means the things which can flow. Gases and liquids together are called fluids because they can flow easily. We are surrounded with air which is a gas, a gaseous mixture we can say and so air is also fluid. Water is a common liquid which is found on earth that is also fluid and the frictional force exerted by fluids is called drag. Now when we are moving through air, we hardly realize that air is also resisting our motion because air is so thin. But still when we start running, we can uh, experience the air blowing against our face. While cycling, while riding on a uh, bike or something, we can experience that wind is uh, beating on our face. When we are walking through water, we can experience that it is difficult to walk through water than walking normally uh, in dry places. So that means air and water also exert friction and this friction is known as drag. Now what are the disadvantages of this drag? Drag reduces the speed. When you are trying to run through water, it reduces your speed, right? When the wind is blowing uh, and we are running against it, we have to use our too much of energy. That means it also reduces the efficiency as more energy is used to overcome the drag. Now, how can we minimize this drag? Because in high speed objects, when we need uh, that our vehicle should attain very good speed like in sports car, aeroplanes, ships, boats and all. We want that the speed should be more. Now how can we attain that speed? It is by changing the shape. Making the shape streamlined or aerodynamic. It's like uh, tapering on both ends. Like you can see this fish. This is tapering on both ends. Thin in the front also and back also. In the middle it is thick. So streamlined or aerodynamic shape reduces the drag. You can see in the nature also uh, fish, most of the aquatic animals, they have this streamlined shape. Aeroplanes are made in such a way that they, they also have a, a pointed uh, front. In the fighter planes it is highly pointed, in the rockets it is highly pointed, right? And when the birds are flying, that time they are also uh, putting their beaks in front, making their body aerodynamic. So the, in this way, the drag can be reduced. So children, that's how we come to the end of the chapter. Please revise the chapter properly. And in case of any doubt, do contact me. Thank you.